I think it's time. Yes, it's time to bring, to bring, to bring history back to life. Cool, it's amazing. Green Accounts TV. <laughs> If you'd like to see one of the largest collections of pioneering movie idols, fashion icons and inventors that changed the world, then please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Here are some of the greatest movie idols and fashion icons from the 20s, immortalised on these original and colourful 1928 cinema star cards. The roaring 20s conjures up images of street gun crime, and greedy materialistic gangsters and fashionable young women drinking to excess whilst dancing to the latest iTunes and the hangover of a stock market crowd. Well, not much has changed then. See, over the past hundred years, although we've gone from riding around on horses to space travel in the blink of an eye, we're still human at the end of the day. Well, I hope so anyway. And so we all, all have the same human frailties and weaknesses, desires, emotions and feeling, feelings that our cavemen ancestors had all those thousands of years ago. So as Jay rightly says in The Great Gatsby, you can repeat the past. And so pop culture will continue in a series of cycles, endlessly repeating elements from itself, since it is merely a reflection of our own human weaknesses and limitations. Perhaps explaining why we're going weak at the knees for retro fashions again. And showing why the 1920s period drama Downton Abbey has seduced the world. And didn't you find it incredible how that modern black and white silent movie, The Artist, ran off with all the Oscars in 2012. Influencing many of the world's greatest fashion designers. And who would have thought that a rapper with his song Thrift Shop would shun the materialistic nature of his flashy peers? Yes, those same rappers that preach the virtues of keeping it real in front of a day high sports car for their latest music video. But one trend that overwhelmingly indicates a seismic cultural shift in public opinion is the steampunk genre, a whole counterculture based on mashing up elements from both the past and the future as a reaction against the boring conformity and impersonal mass production society we now unfortunately live in. So the world is perhaps finally starting to turn its back on the cap copycat karaoke style consumerism and opting for doing its own thing by emulating our history instead. Because the greatest ideas of the future are created in the melting pots of the past. Nothing in our world is completely new. Nearly everything you see is either directly from the past, like these tray cards that I'm showing you here, or a recombination or a mashup of old ideas, recycling elements and concepts from our glorious past like Mother Nature herself. So we'd have to be rather naive in believing the numerous bold claims made by a corporate adverts that their products are somehow completely brand new. It's just a convenient marketing ploy, a slogan that creates an illusion of newness in our minds, implying that anything old and retro is somehow bad and should be thrown away with tomorrow's refuse collection. Despite the fact that their designers would have actively used the past to create their designs in the first place. I think some big changes are starting to happen, to happen that are rebalancing this artificial distortion spread by our throwaway society. Instead of our new information age making people less interested in our glorious past, it's in fact doing the complete opposite. The ease with which we can access information these days is in fact encouraging people of all ages to actively seek out old music videos on YouTube and vids showing how creative our ancestors actually were. And that hilariously, by borrowing elements from the past, they can in fact create something fresh and original compared with today's homogenous trash anyway. 
We are entering a new information age of creativity. Art isn't about static pictures in galleries anymore, or souvenirs or relics of the past caged in museums. It's about actively bringing that stuff out and applying the past so that we can create a more positive future using something we all have, imagination. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to check out the largest collection of videos of the earliest movie idols and fashion icon trade cards in the world on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.